Thank you. Now, you you got a busy camp going on right now, Robert. You're with Marcos Maidana, Kelly Pavlik, Nonito Donaire. Um, they all got fights coming up. First off, Kelly Pavlik is fighting that guy, Will Rosinski, uh, July 7th. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on what that fight means? Well, I do, you know, it's a great, great opportunity for Kelly to be back on, on HBO and back on a great fight. He, uh, he's been there before, so it's, it's nothing new for him. He's, uh, he's used to it. He's, he, uh, he knows what it's like and, uh, he knows what it, what he needs and what it takes to, to be, to, to make it there. So, so nothing new for him. He's just training. He's, uh, he's looking good in, in the gym, uh, uh, to come top. So, you know, we were, we're still doing some of those fights, so, you know, he's in great shape and uh, ready to come on and give us a performance. And uh, do you have any personal thoughts on Will Rosinski as a fighter? Have you studied him at all? Well, I've been watching some of his, uh, since it was a, you know, late, late notice fight that we, we, uh, we didn't have much time. Uh, all I've been seeing is what I, what I could find on, on YouTube, and uh, he's, uh, he's not a bad fighter, you know, he's very strong, he's uh, He's, uh, he's a part of that that has nothing to do and come he's gonna come in and uh, and give everything everything to come in and, and surprise just like just like Jose did last night you know he had nothing to lose you know they're club fighters who who they call as opponents and uh, come out and surprise the world so that's what that's what they, they're gonna try to do and uh, our job is to not let that happen and uh, try to try to try to go past this one and, and make it to the next to the next fight because the first case, you know, we're in HBO, our next fight will be on uh, championship boxing against the top contenders, so it'll, it'll, it'll be a great, great, uh, great win for us, and then later this year should be a bigger fight. And Nonito Donaire um, has a fight on the same card against Jeffrey Mathabula. When was the last time you saw Nonito, and um, any thoughts on how he is and his fight? Oh, he's in great shape. Uh, I was there uh, last week with, with him uh, sparring, and I'll be there again uh, uh, this, this next week for his last sparring session. So he's looking really good. We got two great sparring partners. Uh, he's got uh, great, great people over there with him, and uh, making sure he's going right. I'm, I'm, I stay in touch with uh, with uh, his uh, his coaches over there, and uh, we're keeping. I'm keeping track of everything that's going on. Is looking strong, and when I when I go up when I go up to to uh, Northern California uh, to see his training, he shows me what I want to see, and uh, and uh, and uh, shows me that he's ready. And Marcos Maidana, I guess they have him July 21st against Keith Thurman, undefeated fighter from Florida. Um, just any thoughts? Are you familiar with Keith Thurman at all? What are your thoughts on that fight for Marcos? Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Keith Thurman is, uh, is a, you know, as, as the record shows, uh, 17 or 16 icons, something like, something like that. So he's got power, even though I could say, okay, people could say, okay, he's never fought 10 rounds, or he's never fought anybody, anybody in, 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 in the league division. Uh, but, but he, he, his record, he's still knocking this guy's out, so that means he does have power. So, uh, so, so we gotta be very well prepared, very careful, cause, uh, cause, uh, he is a powerful man. He, he is tall and he, he does fight small and fight good. We, he has a great team behind him, so, so we gotta be prepared. Uh, Marco Bandana is doing a great job in training. He's, he's been impressing me very, very much. His, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his cousin that's with him every, every day tells us that this is the best he's ever looked, uh, uh, from his previous fight, so so that gives me more confidence. You know, a lot of fighters when when they um they they, they do training camps, they look good, but then the fight they don't look too good. I thought my dad could be one of those, but his uh his cousin telling me that that this is the best he's ever looked. That they not one of those fighters that looks good in the gym and then look, looks better in the fight like he did in his last fight. He's uh, he's actually getting better and better, and uh, that makes me confident and. Uh, and uh, sure that we're gonna come on and give us a performance. <laughs> and Brandon Rios, uh, he ha he had to pull out of the fight with Mauricio Herrera. He had the arm injury. Is everything okay with him? How is his spirits? You gotta tell me that one again. I, I, uh, uh, no. Again, got kind of no. 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 I was just saying, you know, Brandon Rios had 
the fight, he had to pull out of the fight with Mauricio Herrera, and I was just asking, you know, because of his arm injury, I was just asking how he's doing, and is he still in good spirits? You know what, Brendan is a great spirit. He, uh, he, he knows things have happened, and uh, we've seen it many times. Uh, lately, have fights have been canceled due to uh, steroids, drug problem, you know, those kind of things. Uh, always was an injury, and uh, it happens in boxing. Uh, guys are training every day, sparring three, four times a week, and uh, and they, injuries do happen. Sometimes they get cut. Brennan, uh, a few years ago, he got cut during training, so we had to cancel fight this time. His elbow was was really bad, so we had to we had to uh, cancel the fight. There's nothing we could do. Just box, but he's he's in the spirit. He's uh, he's still training, still still staying in shape, watching his weight because he knows. As soon as he heals, he's gonna head back to the gym and uh, and uh, and get ready for whatever Cameron Duncan has done. Uh, hopefully, late summer or or early in the fall. Gotcha, man.